What's going on, everybody? Dan Unfiltered, continuing Corn Requiem, track eight of nine. <laughs> I'm trying not to bitch about how short this album is anymore. This is my confession. Hmm. Oh, is it, is there a chance we're getting a ballad here? It's one of the only things we're really missing from this album. This album's had it's had just about everything, again, except maybe bagpipes and a. Uh, Jonathan Davis crying. We've had every staple of corn, <laughs> of a good corn album so far. Just missing those two elements and maybe a ballad. My confession sounds like it could be. Could be. Also sounds like we might get some crying. Sp sounds possible. <laughs> Judging by the title. But hit like, subscribe. Let's check this out. And again, if you guys have any uh, requests, you can hit me up on Patreon. There should be a thing right here or a thing over here. Hit me up and I shall check it out from any band ever. And let's do this. Not about it. Nope. Cadence he's using for these verses. I also like that the lyric lyrically he's absolutely trashing somebody. Some poor bastard is just getting body bagged. But I don't know. It's, it, 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 the song's vibe is kind of missing. You cherish, ultimately will consume you. And so what is this? To wait to commit. You just run and hide. You can't arm and sell this day. Uh, uh, uh. 
not terrible, but compared to what we, the last, the other seven tracks on the album, this is so far the weakest one. So far the weakest one. But I will say, I'm only saying that because of the structure. It was very strangely put together, and a lot of the elements didn't click for me. But that, that does mean that on re-listen, like, I'm going to grade the album, but I'm going to do that in a couple days, so don't worry. In a couple days, I'm going to re-listen to the whole album and do it again, because I don't want to grade an album off one listen. That doesn't seem fair. I'll listen to it probably three times, so I can grade it and put uh, top five songs. This one's probably not on it. <laughs> Spoiler. But, it could be. Because, <laughs> again, this one, if I this is one that if you listen to it a couple times in a row, it might still be trash when you're done, or get worse, who knows. Or it could grow and get better. Because it's the biggest issues are of how odd it is. And how some of the pieces don't feel like they fit together. But if you listen to it enough times, you might go click and you understand what the fuck they were doing. And then you were the idiot. And it's now like, oh shit, this is probably the fourth best song in the album. So it's very possible. Very possible. This is definitely one I need to really listen to. But, eh. Subpar. The chorus was okay. The verses... I like the lyrics. He was trashing someone. That's great. That's always fun. It's always a good time. But but it just... The mood was odd. And the tone shift into the chorus and the bridge was kind of strange. Yeah, it was kind of strange. But it's all good. We got one song left. Let's check it out. I think it's... The worst is on its way. Doesn't exactly invoke confidence. Judging by the title. But it could. And also, if anyone knows the, uh, Corn doesn't have the bonus track uploaded on uh, YouTube yet, but if you guys find it, or if it releases at some point, if you can, let me know, and I will check that out. But as of right now, I could not find the bonus track. I think it's called I Can't Feel. I think that's what it's called. But if you are still here, and you are a real one. 